Time to go. Bernard! We got all the funds you need! Already? Wow, you sure work fast. All right. Our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, <sighs> What do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Favonian Goodies? Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Um, that sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best yard snack shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customers. Traveler? Paimon? What a surprise! Mona and Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmph. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the Princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. The Oz! Spare us your gratuitous embellishments! <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining? Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. 
Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinlesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree. I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vinlesa Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter, in vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You were so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival! <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the menu. Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Hmm. Oh no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visit. You all need to calm down. <sighs> Recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold-cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, Die Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste, and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Halaga Zinfoni is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol, yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Vinlesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wines sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? 
Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your troubles. In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The Traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Favonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! That's right, and it makes Simon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all! Alright, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there! Honorary Knight, Paimon! Good news! We have some new helpers! These two store owners heard about our charity sale. They want to donate their earnings and join us. What? A donation? Are you sure? Absolutely. Each extra donation means one extra person getting the help they need. Both Pauline and I think that's more important than us making more money than we technically need. This year's Vine Laser Fest is busier than previous years, so we met our target earnings more quickly than we expected. That's enough for us. 
It doesn't seem right to leave the important task of caring for our most vulnerable to you alone. We just want to help however we can. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah. Aw, this is the warmest, fuzziest feeling ever. Hmm, but this does mean we'll have to change the name of our shop. Uh, how about... Favonian Goodies and Buddies? Alright, let's give this all we've got and make this a charity event to remember! Over here for snacks, fresh flowers, and general goods! Folks, grab bargains at Favonian Goodies and Buddies! Huh? Hey, look, it's Albino! Uh, hello there. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albedo? I'm not in dire need of anything right now. I just heard that you were running the Knights of Favonia stall and thought I'd come over. As it happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity to bring you a batch of our finished product. Consider it our contribution to the charity effort. Let's take a look here. We've got bottles of... Wait, what is this stuff? It's an extra strong sobriety potion that can sober up the intoxicated and alleviate hangovers. Please, hand them out for free to anyone who needs them. Having some complimentary items will undoubtedly help you attract more customers. Sounds like a super useful invention. It must have taken you ages. Oh, uh... <laughs> It must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. But now, I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Definitely. Well, Paimon assumes so. Because Paimon's never been drunk before. But plenty of our customers probably have been. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. Yeah, Albedo, you should take some snacks back with you and share them with Klee. It's on the house. All right, then. I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. It's a savvy choice of location for selling snacks. There's a festive mood all around... And the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any other Knight of Favonius were running the show, it would be a much more, uh... generic operation. Wow! Getting complimented by Albedo is an amazing feeling! This must be how it feels to drink an extra strong sobriety potion when you wake up with a groggy head! Anyway, it sounds like you know quite a lot about running a charity sale yourself, Albedo! Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. They must have been worth a fortune! Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, and offered a large sum of money for each work. This, plus the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still-life paintings, seemed to give Alice an idea. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I believe they call it... copyright? Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. Wealth was never one of my goals. I don't care where the money goes, so I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I suppose it would be fitting to use it to pay for the destruction that Alice has created. But from what I hear, they use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. Never cease to amaze, Albedo!
Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> well then, I will be returning to the workshop. I wish you and the shop all the best. Thanks for your contribution, and good luck with your research! Come again when you're free! Ingredients for wine brewing need to be chosen.